All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Harachak Wadash. Double on to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone, who teach God to rule well, and greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect. And so you see that Hurricane Burl is hitting that uh in the Caribbean, which we know that there's Israelites down in that Caribbean, okay? Okay, you, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans across the world, you're the children of Israel, and particularly a few of your tribes are in the um the, the Caribbean down there. We got uh Levi, which is um the Haitians, we got the Dominicans, which are the uh, Simeon, okay. We got the Puerto Ricans, which are so-called uh, so-called Puerto Ricans, which are which are Ephraim. Okay, we got uh, the, the the Jamaicans, which are um, the West Indians, also called Benjamin. Okay, all in that area, and we know when you get deep into the Gulf, Mexico's in the Gulf. Okay, uh, um, um, South American countries are on that on that uh, are feeling the effects of it too, but it's particularly running right through. Uh, the these um uh, these islands down there all right and that's one that's one avenue of the things that's going on in in current events okay and that's landfall i think today but it's been hitting uh coming through there for the past few days and we'll maybe still going through it after a few more days but we're going to look into some other things that's going on in the, in the news all right i'll start up here with this one <clears throat> All right. Um, U.S. will pay Moderna one hundred seventy-five mil to develop a pandemic uh, that could, you know, injection that could uh, be used to treat bird flu in people. Okay, that's another one. Another one is um, yeah, the defense secretary. <laughs> Lloyd Austin says the U.S. will soon announce more than $2.3 billion in military assistance for Ukraine. Okay? Which is further collapsing the American government, uh, the uh, economy. All right? Bolivia coup. Okay. Popped up. Tried to uh, pull off a coup, which is like a, a mini war, if you will. Okay, these are just some headlines. And then also on, on, on Brighton, or Brighton, however you want to pronounce it, we got that H. Come on now, come on now. Now I want to paint a picture for you I of. I don't actually play it yet. Come on now, you know, make sure. Here we go. It's gonna change up how this works. So I'm going to just roll with it like this. Uh, this one said, uh, battle plans revealed. When Trump wins, here's what the American hating, America hating left plans to unleash across America. And this is a video on there, okay? They didn't just let all these people in at the border for nothing. Look, it's even talking about it. Look, we go into it. Okay? These are all the topics in this video. Okay, you saw... You saw the uh, the headline there, so you can check that out. But all this ties right into biblical prophecy, okay? From from war to civil war to pestilence 
okay, into storm and tempest. So let me hit some precepts. So this is Matthew chapter 24, uh, verse 6 and 7, right? It says, uh, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so this isn't the very end, but this is another sign of how close to the end that we're getting. It says, For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, when you jump down, um, where is the verse I wanted? Let me see, was it 27? Isaiah 29, verse 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh, of hosts with thunder and with earthquake, and great noise, with storm and tempest, and with the flame of devouring fire. Okay? And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, speaking of uh, the, the, the Israelites, even all that fight against her and her munition, and that distress her, shall be as a dream of the night, of a night vision okay the point was up there at uh at six storm tempest and fire flame of devouring fire okay thunder earthquake all these things are all in current event news okay we showed you the war showed you the pestilence this bird flu thing okay it's popping off and they're trying to curb it now with more uh uh jabs right and so, you know, as you look, and then the Civil War, matter of fact, let me grab one on. Okay, second is 15. Start 14. Woe to the world of them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That right there is martial law. You think they're going to implement all these uh, 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 coups even here in America, trying to implement all these different things, but not have a problem, reaction, solution to it? They're going to have a solution. Okay, martial law. Okay, which is all going to lead to the CHIP, which is the MOTB. Okay, these things are happening. All right, it says, uh, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. But this is a wake-up call for you for you jakes out there, man, whether it's in the islands, because we're the ones that's going to catch it the, the hardest, man, speaking of our people. Okay, and if you're not of the elect, you got to catch a bad one. Okay, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation okay and if i skip over to the second the next chapter i'm gonna go straight to the point verse 9 uh, i'll read it 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Okay, these are for you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans to, to, to amend your ways. Okay, these are all things that that are are, are mingling in, in, in the midst of, of, of life here in America and across the world. Okay, and it's for our people to wake up and return back to the Heavenly Father. Okay, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Just because you can run through the drive through and you got running water, you think it's, it's all good. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Okay, these things are, are going to cause detrimental situation this is only at letter b as far as hurricane season goes okay they go alphabetically this is the letter b okay for burl and we're not even going to mention the the the, the connection of burl uh in the scriptures and describing you how shy it might have been both let me look 
Daniel 10 and uh, sorry, 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphaz, right? Uh, his body was also like the burl, and when you go into it, it's a certain stone color, okay? It's a descriptive term, okay? And his face has the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms, and his feet like in the color of polished brass. We know this to be connected to the the um, the description in, in Revelation, the first chapter, right? And the voice uh, of the, the words are, uh, are like uh, of a multitude. Okay, so it just has spiritual implications, this, uh, this storm. Not to say that it's saying this or that, but just the spiritual implication of, of them naming this storm Burl. Or Burl, however, you know, people pronounce it. Okay, so this is that time, man. Now is high time to wake out of sleep. I'll hit that one and I'll close. Romans 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep time to wake up from from this dream state that you've been in in this american dream thinking you can succeed here and get serious man okay as the scripture said in proverbs the first chapter how long ye simple ones will you love simplicity there's much is a much more complex world coming to us and you're you still on, 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 on easy mode man well the hall of fame mode is was what's coming and this is what the scriptures will, will prepare you for, okay, to make it through. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. There's a salvation to be had. And a lot of our people don't know that there's a destruction to come. They can feel it, but they're not sure. But there's also a salvation to be had, okay? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Grow up and stop, and stop participating in this folly out here, man, this vanity stuff. Okay, get back uh, as as a people anyway. We need, uh, or as an individual, I should say. Okay, we have to uh, get to a point where we 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 have a, a healthy love and, and reverence for our, our our heavenly Father, and the Hebrew Israelites are breaking that down to you. Okay, that there's a there's a, a a dark skinned heavenly Father God and His only begotten Son who walked the earth over two thousand years ago will will be returning to the earth to set it to set it right, but but are you in line with what the scriptures say that, that those that will uh, escape the judgment will be with? Okay. All right. So you got to cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and in drunkenness and in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord. Yahweh Shai Mashiach is how you say his name in the ancient uh, Paleo-Hebrew. Okay, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So you got to start maturing and start making moves in the spirit instead of making moves according to the pleasures of your flesh. Okay. Okay, I even hit this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to start up here and I'll get down to that point. The point was in 7 through 9. It was 7, through, seven and 8, but... I'll start up. It says, uh, Second Edges chapter nine. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs passing, we're showing you signs that are passing a uh, day day by day. Okay, fulfilling prophecy. Okay, which we have told thee before, and it's not that there's never been storms in Jamaica, it's not that there's never been coups in Bolivia. Or that, or that um, money being, they've been sending money to Ukraine, or there's been pestilences going on, you know, and they're coming up with, with you know, the, the, the Maxine Waters and whatever else, okay? But these things are happening at once, and the climate of, 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 of despair and peril are sitting right at your door. I know you see it by now on, on the 11 o'clock news or whatever channel, you know, it plays for you, okay? Then... Shall so thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made by sending his son back to it. Okay? And he, he will not meet thee as a man. He came uh, born through the, the loins of, of his father Joseph and, and through the womb of Mary. Like every other man in the earth, he came down. Uh, he, he came in the flesh. He did all of that. And I'm talking about the son, not the father. He came down the flesh, lived that life. 
came with peace and talking and all of that. Okay, he he was translated. He, he they, the, everybody killed him. He was translated. Okay, transfigured. Then he did forty days and forty nights and more miracles and di different things. And then he, he he ascended off into the heavens. Well, he's gonna return, descending from the heavens. Okay, and he's not coming in a, in, a, in a happy, peaceful mode, man. Okay, because since the last time he left, man, the world has become weaker and more more wicked since he left. Okay, but his elect are, 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 are measuring the time, seeing it, and trying to order their lives in, in, uh, under righteousness, man, that they may be found worthy for salvation. I said, therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we're seeing many uproars, that's everywhere, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay, long before these things took place. These things were all written out to, to happen in prophecy, right? For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, uh, right? All that is in the world. The Most High is the only thing that doesn't have a beginning or an end. Okay, even His Son has a beginning and an end, Alpha and Omega, right? Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And we're seeing these effects and signs. Okay, verse 7, which hits the point again, And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, putting off darkness and putting on that armor of light. Okay, and by faith, and that, that's what it takes, that gift of faith from the Heavenly Father, okay, is what it takes um, to make it through. Whereby ye have believed, you got to believe in it, and your actions prove your belief, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning and that is the elect okay the rest of everybody else got to deal with all these perils uh, perils in the hardest fashion okay and particularly the two thirds of the nation of Israel you Negro Latinos and Native Americans you will know it after death by pain as it will say further down in the chapter but I won't read it so 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 for you that this is moving, hey, get on board, man. Get on board. You know, get yourself, get yourself right. Oh, I, I know I gotta get right. Well, what, what are you waiting for? The thing I hate to hear was Jake be like, oh, you know, I know I gotta get right. That sounds worse than all this some bullshit, and they go up the block. Jake talking about they know they gotta get right, but they ain't making no moves, smoking a black and mild or whatever the hell they doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that. Particularly, and you think the Heavenly Father wants to see that or his son? You think he's going to pardon because you know you need to get right, but you ain't doing it? Hey, man. So, anyway, Lord willing, this is edifying. Just showing you that different levels of and different uh, uh, signs in, in the heavens and in, in the earth, man. Storms, tempests, all kinds of uh, uh, dangers, okay? Perils are, are, are here. Showing the signs that, that this is that time, man. And the time is short. All right. So, Lord, what is that? I'm giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Arachach Wadash, double on to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto the hopeful elect. Shalom.